the Dogda class amphibious assault ship as a class of landing platform helicopter amphibious assault ships operated by the Republic of Korea Navy. Dot. Designed by Hanjin Heavy Industries, the requirements for the amphibious landing ships were to enhance South Korea's current amphibious operation capability, both in terms of assault and military operations other than wartime operations. Development the ROC Navy required a versatile landing ship with amphibious capabilities in its program to build a blue water navy. In the end Hanjin's Dokda design was chosen for this need. LSF-2631 also built by Hanjin was chosen as the LCAC to operate from the ship. Specifications The LPX is a versatile amphibious warfare ship which includes a well deck to accommodate amphibious assault vehicles and two landing craft air cushion, the first of which was acquired in April 2007. The ship is 199 meters long, 31 meters wide, with a 14,000 ton, or 18,000 ton displacement and was also built incorporating stealth technologies. It has been said to be one of the most advanced vessels in the Asian Pacific. As a high-speed amphibious ship, LPX was based on the concept of over-the-horizon assault. As the name indicates, the over-the-horizon assault assault comprises a military operation in which an amphibious landing is conducted with high-speed air-cushioned vehicles, and helicopters from beyond the horizon, where they can't be easily detected or attacked by the enemy. The conventional LSD has to approach the coastline for landing, at the risk of being fired upon by the enemy. The LPX can carry 720 marines, 10 tanks, 10 trucks, 7 AAVs, 3 field artillery pieces, and 2 LCAC hovercraft capable of landing on enemy shores doing 40 knots, a mix that enables it to launch troop landings from both sea and air. She can also carry 10 helicopters when there are no ground vehicles on her hangar deck. The flight surface is also sprayed with urethane which can support VTOL jets, like Harriers. South Korea is considering the purchase of F-35B fighters to operate from its Dokda class ships. Nowadays, the LPX operates mainly UH-1H and UH-6OP. However, both of these are designed for land-based operations and lack abilities for shipborne operations such as protection against damage from salty breezes making them difficult to operate on board continuously. The KUH amphibious, the sea-based amphibious variant of the Kaishurian is now under development. Production is planned to commence in late 2015 with some 40 helicopters planned. Self-defense armament includes the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile system. The goalkeeper close-in weapon system was purchased in January 2003 from Thales at a percent price of 13 billion won. Dokdo is similar in size to the light aircraft carriers derived from the sea control ships such as the Spanish Navy's former aircraft carrier, Principe de Asturias and the Royal Thai Navy's Chakri Naruabit. Ships of the class. Three ships were planned at first but the third ship was cancelled during the period of Lee Myung back government. ROKS Dokdo is named after the Liangquart rocks, which are called Dokdo in Korean but Takashima in Japanese. Although the South Korean Coast Guard took control of the isles in 1954, Japan still disputes the sovereignty of the rocks. The second unit, R. OKS Murado is named after Murado Island, commonly thought of as being both the ending and beginning point of the Korean peninsula. Today a monument stands there recognizing it as the southernmost point of the country. This ship was cancelled once but the budget was restored in 2012.
a ski ramp for operations of VSDOL jet fighters is being considered for Murado. The third unit was to be named after Bahrain Yeong Island, which is located in the Yellow Sea near the disputed northern limit line with North Korea. Bakryong Island is the territory administered by South Korea that is closest to the ONLL. It was an important military base and the site of fierce combat during the Korean War. Plans Some proposed uses for the ship include UN peacekeeping operations and disaster relief. For this reason, the LPX is expected to usher in a new era of expanded South Korean naval activity, since it can be used for relief, transport, and other peacetime activities. First steps to a Blue Water Navy. In a speech delivered in March 2001, Kim Dae-young stated that his administration was aiming to build a navy that will defend the national interests in the five oceans and perform a role in defending world peace. By the year 2020, the ROC Navy plans to deploy two or three rapid response fleets, each comprising one LPX, two KDX-3, four KDX-2, one KDXI and possibly a number of FFX frigates and two or three SSX submarines. ROC Navy's Rapid Response Fleet, Doak de Class LPH, Sejong the Great Class Destroyer Aegis Combat System, KDX-2 Destroyer, KDX-I Destroyer, Type 214 Submarine, 